This is your sculpted arms and back workout, and by the end, you're gonna feel so tall and confident. I'm Action Jacqueline, let's get started. All right, get those hand weights. I'm using a three pound weight, and let's go ahead and get started. You don't need a yoga block, that's just for my, for my phone. Okay, so we're gonna do a nice little hinge. So you're gonna hinge right here at the hips, little flexion, turn the thumbs up, lift, and lower. Good, now squeeze the core, and then squeeze the shoulder blades together. Notice how I'm going up quickly, and then going down slow. So quick and then slow. So you do wanna have a flat back as much as possible. I see so many people doing this with a rounded back and it just hurts my eyes. So you really wanna make sure that you straighten out the back because that'll really, really make sure that we strengthen the back, improve your posture, good. And also this will help to alleviate um, pain in the back as well. Good job. So now we're going to do an overhead press with a little squat. So you're going to just bend the knees, bring the hands up overhead just like that. All right, begin again of the core. Here we go. Reach and up. Working nice and slow and controlled, which is very, very challenging to do. But it's really hard to move really fast, and then it's hard to move really slow. So you're gonna activate different muscles when you move slowly. into some biceps here. We're gonna extend the arms here and out, just like this, out and out. Now, if you want a little extra challenge, you can do both at the same time. My elbows are at shoulder height, so I'm keeping my elbows up. This works more of the triceps. Whew. I'm feeling this already. Oh boy but I do love working my arms. There's something about having strong toned arms. It just feels so good, doesn't it? Once you get through the burr. <laughs> So now we're gonna kneel down and we're gonna do a tricep kickback right here. So your body's gonna be in this little zigzag here and we're gonna extend and reach. Extend and reach, good. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Use the back muscles. I want you to picture those back muscles turned on and working all the little muscles supporting your spine, your vertebrae. Light it up in your mind from your tailbone all the way to the top of your head. All right, little break. Now we're gonna move down onto the mat, laying all the way down. This is one of my most favorite moves because it's just so crazy hard. Even though we're laying down, you're just gonna pulse the arms straight up. Now, this is pretty challenging with the weights. You could also just put the weights down and do it without it, but I want you to squeeze the shoulder blades together, pull the lower belly in up off the mat, keep moving your arms, keep them straight as well. Um, keep squeezing your shoulder blades together too. Nice. Breathe through the movements. I know you've got this, but think of how tall and proud you're gonna be standing after this workout. Now let's 
bring the weights in front of us. This one is a really cool one. It's more re rehabilitative because we're gonna take the weights and we're gonna roll them all the way up, lift it up, 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 using those back muscles and then slowly roll your way down. Good. Almost as if you were on a Pilates machine. So this really is good for your back, your posture. Press the palms down into the weights like this as they roll forward and back. And if you, if for some reason the weights don't work for you this way, you can actually just take like dish towels and go on someplace that's slippery. That'll work too. We're going to move the weights out to the side and we're gonna do ballet arms. So a nice big oval over the head and we're gonna lift and lower. So just back crunches right here. And if it's too much, if it feels like it's just kind of getting into the traps too much, then just bring the arms down into cactus pose like this instead. Think of pointing your toes, creating one long line from your toes to your fingertips. Okay, stand on up. And now we're gonna do everything one more time. I'm feeling it. Definitely gonna be standing much taller and probably grow a couple inches too, right? <laughs> At least I'll hope so. I'm 5'2", so I'm always trying to do workouts that make me longer and taller. <laughs> okay, so thumbs are up, pinkies down, squeeze those shoulder blades together, lengthen through the spine. You're doing awesome. Every time you come back to this workout, you'll probably notice that it gets a little bit easier. And that's what's so incredible about your body is that it's adaptable, it changes. That's usually like the biggest question I get is something along the lines of, is it too late for me? Or, you know, can I still do that? Or is it possible for me to make these changes? And yes, it definitely is possible for you. Always remember that. Okay, take a little breather. Overhead squat or overhead press with a little squat. You doing okay? All right, let's go. stretch and sculpt our beautiful biceps. Here we go, extend and in. And then you can just take in the beautiful views behind me. I'm in Hermosa Beach. It's just seriously so perfect out here today. Just imagine the sun on your face, the wind brushing your skin, feeling the power of nature surrounding you letting it bring inner peace and calmness. Keep those elbows up. All right, 
kneeling tricep kickbacks. Here we go, come onto those knees. And if for some reason it's uncomfortable for you to be on your knees, just, you can do this standing as well. Okay, here we go. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Keep the elbows up as high as you can. You can even take up the speed just a little bit as you extend the arms and in. Just feel that nice little catch up at the top, squeezing the shoulder blades, squeezing the triceps. Okay, let's pulse it up on our stomachs. The very sneaky, challenging one. Looks like you're not doing anything at all. Here we go. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. It's really easy to kind of round them down, but squeeze them together. Lift the chest up just a little bit. those weights in front of you and we're gonna roll up and down this one feels really good because it stretches out the front of our body as well press into the floor you want to really really press down and that that'll help activate the lats and the triceps even a little bit of the serratus And give yourself a nice little stretch as you reach forward. those weights aside nice rounded position here crunching up and let's go up and lower so our back is often ignored I don't think we do nearly enough work on the back because it's behind us but I promise you when you start doing this workout consistently you're gonna notice a huge difference in this you're gonna notice how much taller you're standing. Maybe all those little aches and pains in your low back or hips start to go away. Cause remember everything's connected. Having a strong back will just help you stand taller. And when you stand taller, you're gonna feel more confident. So your body definitely affects the way you feel, your emotions, which affects everything else in your life. The behavior, your actions, your choices. So those amazing ripple effects just by showing up here for a couple of minutes. Okay, so I've got an extra little challenge for you. Last minute right here, we are going to do max out push-ups. So do as many as you can. Here we go, you can do them on your toes or on your knees. And then every time you come back to this workout, join me if you haven't yet, you're going to count how many you've done, and I want you to try to beat it in the next time you come back, okay? Good. Woo. I know, we did so much arm work and now this is it. You've got it though. I know you can do it. No more surprises after that. This is it. Keep going. This is your max effort right here. Don't hold anything back. Wow, 
You are all done. That was amazing. Show off those guns, because I'm sure you're looking good. Amazing job. That wasn't easy, so you should be proud of yourself. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button, because that really helps me out to create more videos like this. And if you're the type of person that thrives on accountability and progress tracking, then download my Stretchy Fit app. You can start absolutely free, be a part of a loving community, and get my best bar and yoga programs. All right, I'll see you in the next workout. Bye.